Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad and I am the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me today. This week we are looking at the book of Jude found in the New Testament. So let's get right to our reading for today. Beloved, while eagerly preparing to write to you about the salvation we share, I find it necessary to write and appeal to you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. First off, I want to give a shout out to the people in my life who have taken care of two very important little girls, Daisy and Violet. That's right, our cats. Since we've had the cats in Thomasville and now in Wilmington, we have had some wonderful cat sitters, Michael and Lauren and Nicholas, to Anna and Casey and Allison and Laurel and Jillian, to name a few here in Wilmington. And all of them have done a great job in taking care of our cats whenever we've gone out of town. Now, the reason I bring up that shout out to the people who have given of their time is because when we are going out of town, we entrust the care and safety of our cats to these good people. We entrust that these people then will carry out the responsibility that comes with cat sitting. So to entrust someone means that you are giving them a responsibility that you want to see them carry out. For Jesus, Jesus has entrusted to us a responsibility to carry out the faith that Jesus created, that Jesus started, and of course that faith was entrusted to the disciples, who in turn became apostles, who in turn shared that with the first followers and the people who became the church. And now that faith has been entrusted to us because it's very important that we follow through. A very interesting fact, the Greek word that Jude uses here for entrust, it can also mean to betray. And it's the same word that we hear throughout the story of Jesus's night of betrayal of Judas and how he was turned over to the government. So we have a choice. We can be entrusted with the faith, the gift that Jesus has given us, or we can betray that trust. So what are we to do to make sure that this faith is passed on to other people? And it's real hard, it's difficult, during this time of a pandemic because we're not out and about as much as we used to be. We are not in church like we are used to be. There's a lot of things that are different, but the one thing that is the same is God's love for us, God's grace. So what are ways that we can share God's grace with others just in a different form? When you notice somebody on social media who is going through a tough day, and if you know how to reach them through a phone call, give them a call. Let them hear your voice. Let them know that you care for them and that you're supportive of them. Now, this is nothing against social media because social media has helped me keep in touch with friends I've had for many, many years. But there's something different when you hear someone's voice, when you hear the sincerity and you hear the love. So that's one thing I think we can continue to do to entrust the faith that Jesus has given us to share that with others. Because it's very important that during this time of being separated, that we know that we're not separated from God and that we are not separated from one another because we are one body in Christ. And together, we'll get through this. I promise you. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. Take care and God bless.